Alrighty, everybody. Hello, hello. Hello and welcome. How is everyone today? Phil here live on the stream. Another full streaming day for your enjoyment. How are you? Oh. <laughs> today is Friday, the 8th of uh, February, 2019. We're heading into the weekend. Cold temperatures here in Washington State where I live. In fact, it's going to snow again. We just had snow last uh, week, weekend. Uh, which was unexpected because we almost never get snow in this part of the country. We're supposed to get snow again tonight. Uh, another four to six inches. Not a big deal. Um, especially me who came from the East Coast. That's like nothing. But it's funny because out here we rarely get snow. So the people out here freak out when we get this kind of snow coverage. <clears throat> so, this should be a, uh, an interesting day. So what are we doing today? Well, first of all... I'm going to get my second tasty dose, my second tasty dose of Apex Legends, all right? Um, this is a game that came out on Monday, Battle Royal, team-based, has a lot of interesting things about it, including its um, spotting system, which is very, very much a, a unique way to communicate with your party without having to use voice chat, which is nice, because in particular, I don't really want to talk to people over voice chat. For various different reasons um, that we won't really get into here. So it's good to be able to communicate in a more, uh, you know, anonymous and let's be honest, even more specific way by tagging the right things and the like around your environment. Um, seems like it has elements from many different other games, including Overwatch, Titanfall, definitely all the other Battle Royale games that we've played recently like PUBG, H1Z1, etc. Um... It's just a lot of things combined, and it really does, it feels exactly like that. A lot of things uh, combined, and, you know, it, does it seem interesting? Absolutely. The class-based gameplay just in itself seems very different because the other Battle Royale games out there don't have classes right now. You're all just kind of the same generic person. So it's interesting to see a Battle Royale game that actually gives you, like, some uniqueness to who you are as a character that you select in the game. Um, <clears throat> that being said, it's still very early on, and I find it funny because already a few many, uh, I say a few many, a few, not many, a few major media outlets have reviewed the game already, all right? Now, just to clarify, this is a game, it's multiplayer only, this is a game that has only been able to be played publicly for four days, okay? No one's played Apex Legends more than four days, yet... <clears throat> For some reason, major media outlets like IGN feel they could put out a full review of the game on their websites. Okay then, I mean, my personal opinion is for a game that is multiplayer focused only, the only time you would have been able to play the game was for the, you know, three or four days, and the fact that it's class based, I don't feel that this game could be reviewed properly yet. That's just me. Even if I, even I, if I had only played this game for four straight days, all I could have done is maybe give you an early impressions. I don't think I could have given you a review because I really feel that this early gameplay of the game is just that. There's going to be things that are going to be discovered and fleshed out in the, in the long run. You're going to find strategies with certain team builds and the like that are going to end up being quite strong. Uh, and I don't think that you could just review a game like this right off the bat. You know what I mean? Um... What's to say that in two, three weeks, people don't realize that a certain combination of characters is incredibly overpowered, and that's all you see in the game from, from now on, and it basically kind of makes the game boring. But in the, in the flip side of that, what if the game does end up being robust and varied or whatever? You can't say that after only playing it a few days, you know? So for me, um, I just like, for me, that's clickbait. That's, oh... We need views on our site, and everyone's talking about Apex Legends, so let's just put out a fucking review after a few days of playing a game, when in reality, there's no way you could put out a responsible review. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, that's just me, though. I mean, you may disagree for whatever reason. That's my opinion, is that I don't think anyone should be reviewing this game this early. Uh, you know, you, it, it takes weeks for the meta or the, the balance of a competitive multiplayer game to be fleshed out. So, in my opinion, really irresponsible of IGN and or any other media outlet that puts out a review at this early, but that's just my opinion, okay? Um, all right, so, 
today I will be playing Apex Legends as a main gameplay stream. Yesterday I did as well, but yesterday's stream started late and had many breaks because I was making a pot of Italian sauce. I'm not doing that today. Today will be a standard gameplay stream, okay? So shouldn't have too many interruptions. Should be the, the standard, you know, at least two hours of gameplay before I take my first break. Um, FYI, I do have to end today's stream slightly early. Usually I go to around 4 p.m. Pacific time. I have to end around 3.30 p.m. because I'm actually making dinner before Cat goes to work. So, in that regard, slightly less gameplay. Uh, but it shouldn't be too big of a deal. It's probably going to be like one less match, okay? Um, so, that'll be interesting. After today, you know, again, what I think I'll do today is maybe try other classes that I haven't tried yet. <clears throat> And see how they work out. Maybe I'll try the Void Walker and stuff like that, and uh, and go from there. And we'll figure stuff out. All right. So that's today. Tonight I'll be playing more Call of Duty Black Ops 4 multiplayer. Probably two hours, maybe a little longer. It depends on how the stream goes. I have, I should have the ability to go a little bit longer on the late stream tonight if I feel like it. So I guess how much rage is is generated from the fucking multiplayer of the game will determine how long I play tonight. Okay. Um. <clears throat> then tomorrow. Is up in the air. The reason I say that is tomorrow, if you guys really like Apex Legends today, I'm willing to play it again tomorrow. But that's probably my limit. Like, after playing a game three straight days, then I'm going to need a break from it. So we'll see. You know, I may do Apex Legends. If I don't do Apex Legends tomorrow, instead I'll be returning to, to Dark Souls Remastered and continuing on with my Magic Run, which if you guys have not been caught up on that playthrough yet, boy, is this run very different from the previous ones I've ever done. I have gone in a completely different um, order, okay, a completely different order, I'm actually doing Four Kings super early, like I haven't, I haven't done Anna Orlando, um, <clears throat> I haven't done any of the other, other stuff, I I'm went straight to New Londo once I had the ability kind of to do so, um, and I'm fighting four kings. I don't know how this is going to go, but apparently if you beat four kings early, you get a completely different plot line, including new, a trophy, you know, reward plus, you know, things change the plot of the game, which is kind of interesting. And I've never done that before. <clears throat> so I think, to, uh, you know, when I do return to Dark Souls, that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, so, that being said, um, that's interesting to me. And that may be tomorrow as well. So, either Apex Legends or... The return to Dark Souls tomorrow, depending on what you guys think, okay? What you think of today's stream and the feedback that I get on streams today. <clears throat> tomorrow night, um, what is it, Saturday night? I'll be doing more Minecraft, a couple more hours of Minecraft chill streaming. And getting some more ideas of things that I could do um, on that stream. Then on Sunday, I'll be playing whatever I did not play on Saturday. So if I play Apex Legends on Saturday, then I'll play Dark Souls on Sunday or vice versa, Okay. Um, Sunday night, <clears throat> I'm debating trying something new. Uh, a fan has donated enough PlayStation Network credit for me to purchase Subnautica. And this is a game that people have actually, ever since I started doing chill streaming last year, people have been asking me to check out Subnautica, telling me this is a very chill game. This is a game that if I play it and like it, it may be added to my kind of rotating schedule of chill streaming fun. And since people really like the Minecraft, and since people really like other things where you have a lot of opportunity to interact, I think that Subnautica, if it is that kind of game, all right, may actually be um, <clears throat> right up our alley, okay? <clears throat> so, let's see. Maybe I'll do that Sunday night for the very first time, okay? Then on Monday... Probably we'll do it again. Whatever I di whatever I didn't play on Sunday, I'll play on Monday. So it's either going to be Apex Legends, Dark Souls, Apex Legends, or Dark Souls, Apex Legends, Dark Souls. <laughs> okay. Um, Monday night, guys, I am not going to be streaming. I'm taking a night off from streaming this week. I need the time to do some personal stuff um, this week. So that's only one night, though. No worries. Tuesday, I'll be doing a full day of streaming. Then on Wednesday, it's going to be my very special retrospective event. Where we're all going to basically be going back and looking at my history as a content creator on the internet. Um, my 10-year legacy, because I've been doing this since 2008. So technically now, it's over 10 years I've been doing this. 
And we're going to be watching back videos, we're going to be watching back vlogs and gameplay and reacting to it, and I'm going to be giving you behind-the-scenes commentary. I did an event like this in September. People absolutely loved it, wanted me to do another one, so here we are doing one now. Should be a lot of fun, and exclusively on this stream, alright, exclusively on this stream, I will be um, going back to my original vlogging channel, The King of Hate Vlogs. Excuse me, I screwed that up, let's try that again. The King of Hate HD, that was my original vlogging channel on YouTube way back when, you know, from like 2009 through like, I think 2011, that's the channel that I vlogged on, um, and then after that, I went over to my, my King of Hate Vlogs channel, so, yeah, I'll probably watch through a lot of that stuff, I mean, there's so much stuff on there, there's, if I remember correctly, um, all my original DSP tries it, so the very first episodes, okay, um, <clears throat> there's a, a couple trips that I took with Rambo. We had gone to Chicago once to play in a tournament, and then uh, we went to Nashville, I believe, and I think that trip's on there. There may be a convention, early convention or two, that John and I went to. Um, there's sm the early episodes of Smart Guys, our wrestling commentary show. Um, along with a few other things. So there's some really old stuff on there. And that would be really cool to go back and watch that stuff. I'm not lying. I've never gone back and watched any of that. I created it. I put it on the internet. And I never went back to watch it. So it'll be really neat to go back and watch it. Plus, most of those videos, sadly, are not visible anymore. <clears throat> and I don't know uh, why YouTube blocked the channel. That The King of Hate HD channel is not visible to most people. So I'll be able to play them on my own and, and then, you know, we'll be able to watch them together. And then, obviously, those videos will have a, a place on the internet to live again, you know, which really sucks that they kind of went away. I have no idea why they did. Um, so anyway, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, on Wednesday of next week, that's the 13th, is going to be this retrospective event. It's going to be a day-long event. We're going to be doing that. Not only that stuff, but like I said, I'm, there's going to be game playthroughs and other stuff. You know, people have been nominating stuff for months to be you know, viewed in this event, and I'm very excited to finally be able to do this next event. It's going to be a very chill and fun day, I get the feeling, so. Okay. So, that's the week, guys. That's what you can expect in the next week or so of streaming. Hope it sounds good to you. Um, I just want to say thanks to everyone who's been very supportive recently. Um, in regards to everything going on personally with me, financially, it really sucks the situation I'm in. Um, right now, FYI, things are really bad. Um, a combination of many factors, including a holiday season when normally I would have made a lot more money than usual and I didn't. I basically made just the same as I always do. Um, the fact that I was sick during the Christmas week when, again, it's another opportunity where I might have made uh, good money and I was sick and I wasn't able to be here and I made pretty much nothing. Um, and the slowest month ever for YouTube was January 2019. I made the least money ever on YouTube in January. So it's a unique combination of bad factors that have pretty much screwed me over right now financially. Now, <clears throat> I am hoping things are going to pick up, um, especially with the new releases and stuff that have been coming out and I've been covering for you guys. I am hoping that things are eventually you know, going to pick up here and get better. The problem is, you know, there's no guarantee. So right now, financially, I'm in a really bad position. Um, being very honest with all of you, I... Basically, I have almost no money in my bank account, and I have many bills I need to pay before I get paid by Twitch this month. They pay me on the 15th, and then typically it takes about a day to clear and hit my bank account. Um, this is not good. These are things such as utilities, internet, uh, credit cards, loans, like other things, you know, a variety of things that need to get paid here. And this sucks because basically Patreon screwed me over this month. They were supposed to pay me on the 2nd, and instead they didn't clear all the pledges till the 5th. And by the time that the, the money hit the bank account, it was too late and I'd been overdrawn. It was just a nightmare. So already, I, they've already charged me over $100 in overdraft fees. Um, <clears throat> and basically, I'm, I'm, I'm really not in a good position. And it's a combination of shitty factors, okay? So, there are many ways you can contribute. You can pledge to my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash darksidephil. You can buy something from my Teespring shop, which you're seeing plugs here on the pre-stream right now. You could, you know, cheer, sub, or tip during today's stream to get a shout-out, because I will give you a shout-out if you cheer, sub, or tip during the stream. However, keep in mind, this is a highly intensive competitive game. Chances are I'll have to give shout-outs between the matches. 
because I'm going to have to pay attention to what's going on and interact with my team, okay? Um, and I appreciate any contributions. You know, we got the Stream Stats leaderboard up. Cheering, top cheerer and top tipper will get up there on the leaderboard. Um, it's first come, first serve. We don't do ties. So, for example, if you're the first person to do a 100-bit cheer, great, you'll get up on the leaderboard. But if someone else does a 100-bit cheer, they'll still get the shout-out verbally on the stream. But I'm not going to update the leaderboard until someone does a 101-bit cheer to, you know, top what the person before them did. See what I mean? Um, <clears throat> so, all that being said, um, the best way that you can contribute to me right now and help me out would be to tip me. Because I really need more funds to pay my bills. This is not an exaggeration. This is not, you know, me making shit up or over-exaggerating at all. I really need money in the next week to pay all my bills or else I'm screwed. You know, what's the point of getting paid by Twitch a, a good amount of money from all those nice gifted subs we got in December if I couldn't pay my utilities this month? <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, not a good situation. And I'm hoping that I can at least make it through the next week. Because then, you know, when the payment comes through, things should be all right. But I need your support for the next week, guys. Tipping me helps me the most because I get those funds right away and they go right to bills. I'm not exaggerating. Yesterday, all the tips you guys gave me went right to the bank account to pay bills. And I've been doing this every single day I'm streaming. Whatever I get from tips immediately goes to bills, okay? So please consider, um, you know, tipping me if you at all can. There's two ways you can tip me. The first is below the stream. There's a button that says tips jar, you can click on, or you could uh, le you could uh, type in exclamation point tip into the stream chat. That'll bring up the link that you can click on to go to the tips page. Either way helps me tremendously. It's the same, you know, if you want to, you know, put your name to get uh, some credit, you know, or if you just want to be anonymous, you could do that too. <clears throat> all right, you could do whatever you want. Either way works. All right, thank you very much to anyone who does contribute. Um, understand that this is, you know, me actually appealing to you seriously because I really need your help in the next week. So please consider it. Okay, guys? All right. Um, all right, so that's really it. I think what we're going to do now is get the shout-outs and do shout-outs for those who have contributed already on the stream. And, uh, and then I guess we're going to get started here. Um, let me see something here. Ugh, if I can get this to work. Let's see. Ah. All right, sorry, I was reviewing. I got a random request out of nowhere for an unban, and I, there's this new feature. This is really cool. I should bring this up. Twitch is ever improving, which is a good thing. One of the features they've actually added in the last week, a brand new system by which you can now immediately see what people have been saying in stream chat um, that led to possibly them getting moderated. So, for example, I just got a message from someone saying that, you know, they got moderated and they like to, to uh, appeal for an unban and I can immediately bring up the things that they've said in the stream chat and see exactly what kind of stuff they said because some people you know, like they say oh I got unfairly unbanned for saying this then you look it up no they didn't they've been doing detractor memes they've been insulting people they've been doing stupid shit for days and you can bring it all right up at a glance now it used to be you had to use like third party logging programs and shit to see all this but they actually improved their own site um which is pretty neat. Uh, so, in this particular case, this is a situation where I'll probably give this person another chance. Um, despite the fact that they were being negative earlier today, which has led to them being moderated. I like this, though. I could actually do this on the fly, which I never used to be able to do. Um, however, I will say this. The best way, guys, if you ever feel like you've been moderated unfairly, or maybe you know you got moderated for doing something kind of silly or stupid and you want a second chance, you can always email me at darksidefill.hotmail.com. You could tweet me at they call me DSP. If you're going to do either of those, include your name on Twitch because so many people don't. <laughs> I was unfairly banned. I'd like an appeal appeal uh, review. Okay, what's your name? It's like the, the first piece of information I need. People, You'd be surprised how many people don't send that. 
But anyway, yeah, I'm more than happy to review it. The worst thing you could do is to try to ask me live on a stream um, because I don't really have time, especially if I'm playing a game. No, I'm not going to stop the stream, halt the stream, and immediately start reviewing logs and the like. <laughs> you know what I mean? Once the gameplay starts, that's pretty much the limit of me reviewing anything. So please understand that. And, uh, you know, either email me or tweet me if you'd like me to take a look at something. Okay? <clears throat> Fair enough. All right, great. All right, guys. Let's, uh... Oh, my God. I'm trying to click on stuff. What the... Ah! Ah! Okay. I got it on Frozen. My, the whole thing was Frozen here for a second. Okay, so... Overnight, we had a few people who contributed. I want to say shout-out to Tantamounter who did 100-bit cheer overnight, and also Kazzy1, who subscribed to the channel. So thank both of you for your contributions overnight. It's pretty awesome when people keep me in mind when I'm not even streaming. Pretty sweet, right? Um, all right. So now let's continue on here. Um, starting off with Goldry Bloodsco, who did 100-bit cheer today. That makes him the top cheerer. And let's before we get ahead of ourselves, let's get him up on the leaderboard because sometimes I forget to put the top cheerer up right away. And then I, I don't even remember later on. Who the top cheer is. So let's go ahead and get him up there first. Okay, good. So Goldie Bloodsco up there, 100 bits. Shit. 100 bits, shit. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Goldie Bloodsco, for the first cheer of the day. Then, Zacco carries at 100 bit cheer. He's good to be back. Uh, I was banned because I think my sarcasm was taken as a detractor meme. Um, then he cheered again and said, Chat is absolutely not necessary right now. It's not working for me. Also fun. Well, I don't know what you mean by that. Chat seems to be working for me. Is this chat not working for anybody else? Hmm. And then we had a $3 tip from Crooked Death. This was the person who wanted me to appeal their ban. Um, so thank you, Crooked Death, for the $3 tip. You're the top tipper of the day so far. And let's get the running tally of tips going for the day. Again, we do have the tips goal that I'm trying to raise, guys. Because if I could, if, basically, if I could raise that every day, I'm 100% sure I could cover all my bills until I get paid by Twitch. Um, I haven't hit that goal. Well, I did. Let me take that back. I did hit that goal once la or earlier in the week. <clears throat> but uh, I haven't hit it since. So, by the way, what do you guys think of these, these animations for cheering, subbing, and tipping? Are you still okay with them? Or do you want me to change them back to the regular ones? Because I could change them back, but I've left them at the tw the uh, the Kingdom Hearts stuff. Because I guess people have liked it, even though I'm done with Kingdom Hearts now. People seem to like the pop-up messages, the silly ones. So I can leave them if you want me to leave those. Or I could change them back to the old ones. It's up to you guys. <laughs> I think people like them. They're funny. <clears throat> okay, um... So, Zacco carries in another 100-bit cheer. Thank you, Zacco. Um, Goldie Bloodsco cheers. Says, Would it be awesome if you could play Apex Legends with some of the subscribers? Well, I'm not doing that yet. I'm certainly not writing that off and saying, oh, I'm never doing it. But I'm not doing it yet. Um, uh, and what I want to do is kind of get a little bit of immersion in the game um, and understand the systems. In particular, I am enjoying learning the tagging system. Where you have to, you know, select certain things and tag them with R1. Although, I'll be honest, it was a little bit cumbersome yesterday. My first session, I flubbed it a lot. I'd run into enemies and not properly tag them. And then get into a firefight and die and screw it all up. And I am still kind of fumbling a little bit with the controls of the game. You know, being able to swap between grenades and the standard loadout and tagging and stuff is a little bit cumbersome in my opinion. But I'm sure I'll get better at it the more I play. Um, so, yeah. So... Not today. Uh, I may, if people are liking the Apex Legends stuff, and you want to see me team up with like subscribers or, or viewers or moderators uh, who are playing the game, then maybe I would consider doing it. But I, uh, you know, already I got people asking, are you going to play with other people today? No, probably not. I'm probably just going to do another day of me just kind of messing around solo here with random teams, try to see how it goes, all right, and then go from there. <clears throat> Fair enough? All right. Two Bar King. Did a 100-bit cheer. Thank you very much, Two Bar King. I appreciate that. Um, 
Greggy tipped me two dollars. He says, "Why don't you play the Anthem beta, Shenmue Two, or Tales of Vesperia instead of playing Blackout, Minecraft, Dark Souls for the thousandth time? It's boring." Greggy, what you need to understand is that your opinion is not the opinion of every other person on planet Earth. Different strokes for different folks, as they say. I would not be playing Battle Royale games if people didn't enjoy seeing me play Battle Royale games. People have been asking me to play Apex Legends all freaking week, you know? And finally, I got to it yesterday, and now I'm going to be focusing even more on it today. Um, this is what the viewers have wanted. Uh, Blackout, <clears throat> you know, is the kind of the epitome of the solo Battle Royale right now. And people really enjoy watching me play that. Last night, the stream went well. People really enjoyed it. Um, Minecraft, that's something that people, again, directly asked me to do when I was doing more of an indies stream <clears throat> um, last year, actually. And during the indie stream, Minecraft was one of the games people selected for me to play. So I basically started over with a brand new world creating and everything. And now that I'm an interactive streamer, people were like, holy shit, this is like way better than the last time you played it. We love this. We want you to keep doing it. And that's why I've kept playing it. You see, I'm going directly based off of feedback of what the viewers want. Certainly, you're absolutely right. I never would have thought off the top of my head these are games that people would want to see extended, you know, extended playthroughs of. But they are. And let's face it, I hate to say this. Dark Souls, no matter how much people complain about me playing Dark Souls again, it's a tried and true uh, success. People show up for the streams, people contribute to the streams, people enjoy the streams. So even though you may personally hate Dark Souls and don't want to see me play it again, every time I play it, 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 it's very successful. So it doesn't matter, you know, that's your personal opinion, but it doesn't necessarily coincide with the opinion of the masses, Okay. Now, in particular to the things you mentioned, the Anthem beta, I have zero interest in. I've seen good footage of Anthem. I've heard people who played the beta. It seems like a piece of shit. It seems like it's a boring, con purposely contrived uh, co-op game just to make a buck. Has no soul or heart in it. Story's terrible if it even has a story to begin with. Um, and it just doesn't seem like it's anything that's going to be fun unless you're consistently teaming up with a group of people to do co-op shooting gameplay just like Destiny. It's Anthem is Destiny in an Iron Man suit. So why do I play the... Why on earth would I play the beta? Like, I know what it is. It's a piece of shit. So why would I care about that? Shenmue 2, I am 100% playing. I've already said this. Um, It's probably going to be when things calm down a little bit after new releases. So I'm going to guess maybe May. um, Or at the latest June. But definitely I'm playing it before the summer. Because Shenmue 3 comes out in late August. So I'll definitely be playing it before then. All right. Tales of Vesperia is a, is a re-release. It's a re-release of a quite old, over 10-year-old game. Not to say the game is bad. It's not at all. I played Tales of Vesperia. This was the year, 2007-2008, was the year when I was basically quitting Professional Street Fighter and trying to re-immerse myself into console gaming, which I had pretty much ignored for a decade. And this game is amazing. I love the combat. I love the visuals. I love the story. This is a game that I played the living shit out of. I, I got all the trophies for it on Xbox 360. So, I love it. So, but, it's just not a very good time right now for a JRPG. If you actually look at the stuff that I've been doing, I just played Dragon Quest XI for the longest time. Then after that, I played Final Fantasy IV, and then I played Kingdom Hearts. And I just finished Kingdom Hearts. It's not time for another long, lengthy JRPG, in my opinion. I'd like to do some different stuff. I'd like to actually rather stick, stay away from JRPG stuff right now in a time when there's a little bit of a lax and there's not any really going on. I understand there's people who love them. Listen, I do. I love JRPGs, but I'd rather do other stuff right now. So I hope that directly addresses, Greggy, the games you brought up that you personally would like to see. I'm sorry that the stuff that I'm doing right now doesn't personally appeal to you. I do a wide variety of stuff. I mean, you're talking Battle Royale, standard first-person shooter multiplayer, um, you know, sandbox building, um, grueling, difficult RPG style. Uh, you know, I'm doing a variety of stuff. This coming week, are you kidding me? On the 15th, I'm starting three new games. So there's tons of variety coming this month. Okay? All right. Um, Shout-out to Zacho Carries. We did a $10 tip. He says, best of luck. I'll continue to contribute what I can. No hard feelings for a ban. I understand how you can get confused. I guess I had banned this guy previously. I don't know who this is. 
but apparently I had banned them previously, and, you know, now they're back. Um, so anyway, Zacco, thank you. A $10 tip, you're the top tipper of the day. That brings us up to $13. Actually, $15, because of Greggy's tip as well. So we're at the $15 in tips. Thank you. Um, let's see here. Eternal Napalm Cheers says, Why do the tractors mock the fact you're a working man paying your bills? Mortgages, insurance, and electricity doesn't pay itself. Probably because... They don't understand a few things. They don't. Number one, they don't understand how someone who makes good money, which I do, can't afford stuff. All right, they have no concept of the amazing amount of debt in my name, the shit that's happened behind the scenes that screwed me over time after time after time. Um, I mean, I, you guys only know the stuff that I've made public. You know, stuff like the the state income tax being screwed up for years and me owing tons of back taxes that I had to pay last year that basically emptied out my bank account and made it so I couldn't afford my regular federal taxes, you know? This is just one of many things that have happened over the years. That's the thing, like, a normal person, if they were to make the money I was making, probably wouldn't be in the position I'm in. The problem is, so much shit has happened, including people fucking with me and screwing me over behind the scenes on many different opportunities and, and decreasing my income that I should have been making. Um amongst, you know, other stuff, and, you know, so to them, it's a very ignorant view, it's a view that's like, well, if I made that much money, I'd be fine, yeah, because you're not in the life situation I'm in, it's certainly not like I could have predicted the future and the shit that was going to happen, that I would end up in this situation, you know what I mean, <clears throat> um, you know, and in addition to that, you're absolutely right, when you talk about stuff like mortgages, insurance, electricity, they don't get it, because most of the people who make fun of me are kids, Kids who don't have those responsibilities. They still live with their mommies and daddies. And they get everything paid for. They have free health insurance because their mommies and daddies pay for it for them. All right. You know, or these are younger people who don't have a house, don't have any of these things. And so they don't have these responsibilities. They don't even understand how it works. That's why it's just ignorance, basically. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, Zacho carries in another 100-bit cheer. He says, it wasn't my intention to get out of a ban. I really don't give a shit about it. I still watch your content on a daily basis. I'm a big fan of the raw streams. Well, thanks. I don't even, again, I don't even know who you were, so I don't even understand what's going on with the situation, but thank you for the support. Uh, Mr. Jackson did a $5 tip. He said, you ain't having it. Good me either. Let's, let's get together and make the whole world believers. Sounds like lyrics. I don't recognize what those lyrics are from, but I say thank you to Mr. Jackson. For a $5 tip, that gets us up to $20 in tips so far today. So thank you for that. Okay. Um, Jad DF did 100-bit cheers. to play with Chappie. He's very fun and versatile with his mobility. Yeah, Chappie, the, the robot, I forget what his actual name is in the game, looks just like the robot from the movie Chappie. Um, I'm going to try other classes. Don't worry. I am. I'm going to try other classes today. So, Zach O'Curry shoot again. He says, uh, I was talking about Apex Legends. Sorry for the confusion. I guess he was... I don't know. He's, he says in response to the chat, I'm talking about Apex Legends. I don't know what he's talking about. So, Haseo has cheers. Is just curious if you had any luck selling those collectibles in the Nook area. I know you mentioned before you were having difficulty selling them. No, here's the problem. I even, like, for example, when I just the other day went and I traded in a ton of my movie collection to try to make a couple hundred dollars extra to pay my bills this month. Um, and I did. Like, my, I'm not even kidding. My movie collection is probably about halved at this point just because I needed the money. Um, I asked, do you guys know anyone who buys collectibles? They're like, nope. They're like, you know, we're personal collectors. We're interested, you know. But as for you, actually, if you have a collection of stuff you want to sell, we don't know, you know. And I told you guys, I looked into it in this area, and I called a bunch of, like, hobby comic book shops, like, two years ago, and I couldn't find a single person that was interested in buying my stuff. Um, it sucks. Because here's the problem. There are places you could list them, but to list stuff on Amazon, you have to start your own official registered business. I'm not going to do that. That's going to be way too much trouble. Um, to sell stuff on eBay, it's completely random because you could get scammed. I've been scammed on eBay before where people, oh, they bid on something and they win and then they fucking, basically you ship the item and then they claim fraud with PayPal or whatever and then you get screwed over from payment. Now, I've, I've learned if you buy insurance, seller's insurance, you can actually protect yourself from that. But at the same time, I'm very nervous about selling stuff on eBay for other reasons too. You know, what if someone realizes it's me 
And now they start trolling that with fake posts and fake bids and all kinds of fucked up shit, right? <clears throat> so, I don't know. I'm nervous about it. I'm, I'm definitely not doing Craigslist. Craigslist would be the worst possible thing because there's no guarantees at all on Craigslist. It could be some guy who just fucking, you know, shoots you in the knee and steals all your shit, you know? So I'm not doing Craigslist. Um... Uh, you know, maybe eventually I'll have to look into eBay. That's the only thing I can think of. Because at this point, I, I, I definitely need the funds. And I have a, a, again, I do, I have a ton of these statues in my my nook that, you know, I'm never going to put them out. I don't need them anymore. This was a different time when I was making a ridiculous amount of money on YouTube. I had an insanely amount of disposable income. And I just blew it on stupid, frivolous shit, you know. And now I could use those funds to pay bills and stuff, and I, you know. So, you know, we'll see. We'll see if I can eventually ever find a way to resell them. Right now, not looking so good, okay? <clears throat> um, Judicious Echoes did a 500-bit cheer and said, ever played laser tag or photon back in the 80s? I used to see those in your arcades. Oh, yeah, I played laser tag probably like twice. It wasn't great. And the thing was, laser tag is highly dependent on how they upkeep the equipment. Because I've been to one place where the laser tag was amazing. If I remember correctly, it was... I went on a Florida vacation with my parents and just randomly we came across like a video arcade laser tag place. And we're like, let's just try it. And it was like really good. Like the lasers were cool and you could shoot from all the way across the room. And it was really nice. It was fun. And then when we got home, we found a place in Connecticut that had it. And it was the complete opposite experience. Like the lasers were fucking shitty. You would shoot someone and it wouldn't detect at all. And it was just annoying. Like, I paid the same amount of money, you know. It was expensive, too. You know, laser tag's typically, like, 20, 30 bucks. And you pay for it, and it's like, wow. It's, like, completely different experiences just depending on the upkeep of the equipment. So, but, yeah. I played it, I think, twice, ever. So, um. All right, now we get a troll who's now banned permanently. Goodbye. Someone who followed just to, to talk shit. Goodbye. All right, uh, let's get Judicious Echoes up there. Top cheer, 500 bits. Thank you, Judicious Echoes. <clears throat> did I spell it right? Judicious Echo. Yes, I did. Good. Okay. Um, Zacho carries true again. He says, start with random teams for sure. I am. I'm definitely doing random teams today. For today, that's what I'm doing. <clears throat> Zago carries that some people are having issues accessing the EA servers. That sucks. Well, hopefully I don't have issue. I mean, I, we might, but I hope we don't. Uh, Rob Warren, what's up, man? He took me twenty dollars. Just hope you're doing good, dude. Thank you, Rob. Um, I'm looking forward to today's streaming day. I hope you guys are too. And thank you very much for the support. Let's get you up on the leaderboard for top tip. So that gets us up to forty dollars in tips so far today. Thank you, everyone. Again, going straight to bills. So thank you, thank you. <clears throat> um, Mr. Papa Vera cheered. He says, Oh man, an Iron Man game, that would be awesome. Why hasn't that happened yet? Good question. What I would think is that at least with the, with the technology that was available last console generation, they didn't feel they could put out a good enough game that, that you know, having, you know, a, a, a mech suit with, with light and gas trails you know, shooting constant lasers and missiles and shit, you know, flying through a city, they probably didn't think they could handle it. Now I think they absolutely could. I mean, they're making uh, games like this all the time now. So why they haven't done an officially licensed Iron Man game, I have no idea. You would have thought that would have been super popular, especially during the era of the Marvel movies when Iron Man is one of the biggest characters in movies. And they never made one. It's kind of bizarre that they didn't, you know? <clears throat> All right, um, Zacho carries shoot again. He says, that could really fuck you. They're happy to give it to you, but they won't give a shit if you have a lower income, even though they've paid them thousands in interest. Yeah, and that's what that's my situation I'm in. So just just one of the many things that screwed me over in the last year, which I don't really talk about. <clears throat> I have a lot of credit card debt, a ridiculous amount of credit card debt. I don't like to talk about it because it's fucking embarrassing that I ended up in this position, but it's just true. Um... In the last year, actually, I'll take this, the last two and a half years, the Federal Reserve in the United States, which is the organization and governing body that decides the the interest rates on everything, 
raised interest rates three times. When Every time they did that, I owe more money because the interest rates on all my credit cards go up. And just to give you an example, um, my credit card minimum payments in the last two years have doubled, okay? So just some perspective here. I used to have over extra, over about an extra thousand dollars a month that I would put towards my taxes. That's exactly the money I would use to pay my taxes with around thousand dollars or more a month would be going towards my taxes. All that money's gone now because all my credit card payments went up. And it's not that I owe more. I don't. My credit card balances didn't go up. The payments went up because they're now charging me more interest because the Fed raised interest rates. And it completely fucked me over <clears throat> to the point where, you know, the debt is just, even if I were to pay infinitely, I doubt like for the rest of my life, I could pay down this debt. What I need to do is find a way to get a big chunk of money to pay it off all in one fell swoop. Cause doing the minimum payments and stuff, I can't, it's never going down. Um, it sucks. And that's why I'm trying to refinance my house and everything, but I don't know how it's going to work out quite frankly. So it just sucks. It's, you know, it's a seriously bad situation, and that's why the debt is killing me. You know, that's why I'm in this situation. I never in previous years would have been in a situation like I'm in right now where I can't even pay my bills. Never have I been in this situation before. But it's because of all these factors, you know, I usually get a boost in the holiday season. I got zero extra income in the holiday season for whatever reason this year. I usually get a nice boost Christmas week. I didn't get that this year because I was sick as shit. And YouTube way down in January, the, the worst it's ever been ad revenue wise, you know, three terrible factors just right there paired with everything else going on. The interest rates on my credit cards going up more debt. This sucks, you know? So anyway, Ace did a 50 bit cheer. He says, to be fair to Anthem, the game that looks bad does not mean that it is bad. Uh, I don't see the harm in at least trying to beta. Worst case scenario, it'll confirm your assumptions about the game. Um... Yeah, I mean, I understand. I totally understand what you're saying. You're like, give it a shot anyway. No, you know, nothing, nothing to lose. I guess I can agree with that, except I'd rather do other stuff. Like, from everything I've seen about the game, I'm just not interested. And this is the truth. Like, I heard, oh, Bioware's making a new game. Oh, it's called Anthem. And then immediately they revealed it's a team-based shooter. Where And then they showed the gameplay that looks just like fucking Destiny or like Borderlands. You know what I mean? Immediately I was like, that's it. They tried to catch. This is a cash in. This is not an attempt to make a good game. This is an attempt to make a game that you'll play with your friends. Cash in. They've completely lost their way. There's no good narrative, which is what Bioware games are always known for. What the fuck happened here? And why should I play this? And I've seen not a single thing in the year and a half since you know we first got our, our information about Anthem. Not a single fucking thing to, to, to steer me otherwise. They haven't tried to convince anyone that it's anything else. They're just like, yeah, this is it. Just play the fucking stupid looter shooter, you know? So, you know, it is what it is. Um, I just, I'm not interested in it. I understand your point, Asa. You have a fair point. I'm just not really interested in it. Okay. Jujitsu Echoes cheer. He says, you might want to turn off super sampling if you have not Analysts indicate it runs near 60 frames after. I get that. At the same time, why does every other game I play run fine with super sampling and not Apex Legends? You know what I mean? Like, I guess I could turn it off now, but now the problem is I'm probably not going to remember to turn it back on for, you know, <clears throat> other games. This just kind of stinks. Never, why, why the fuck couldn't they optimize the game before they released it? So now whenever I play this game, I have to turn off super sampling then I have to turn it back on for the games. I'm looking at the menu. I don't even know where the fuck it is. You know how stupid this is? This is just... <laughs> Why? Video output settings. Super sampling mode. Here it is. We'll turn off super sampling. I don't know why I have to. I shouldn't have to. Quite frankly. But, um... I guess we'll see today with Super Sampling off if the game runs better. Then I'm going to have to try to remember to turn it back on later tonight for when I play Black Ops. So. All right. Um. Okay. Zach O'Carey just did 100-bit cheers. I've been there with credit cards. I'm suing some of my credit companies. And I've received a good amount. 
Tell you what, if you get number one on one of your first five matches, I'll give you a twenty dollar tip. All right, we'll see. I really doubt that's gonna happen. I actually got second place yesterday, which is hilarious. First day I'm playing it, I get second place. But being that it's squad based, I really don't foresee myself winning a match today. Just saying. Uh, Baby Man Gaming did 100 bit cheers. If they try to stump me, I go all out military. I'm camoed out. I'm like, ugh. More lyrics. Well, thank you for the cheer, Baby Man Gaming, but I'm not going to read the rest of these lyrics. I'm not reading. I'm not. A... <laughs> anyway, Xbox One is garbage. Ship me a dollar. And says, have you ever tried Black Velvet Toasted Caramel? No, I've never even heard of it. Black Velvet Toasted Caramel? No. Nope. Thank you for the cheer or the tip, though. Um, let's see here. Zacko carries did a 501 bit cheer to become the cheer leader for today. And says, just one out of five games, Phil. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it or not. I'll try, but. Especially because I'm just learning the game. I really don't know what's going to happen here today. Okay. Um, Eternal Napalm Cheers. I'm getting Amped for Metro Exodus. It won't be long until we are exploring deep in some dilapidated cavern and a nest of mutant spiders and snakes. Yes, the Metro games are a good time. They always are. And uh, I'm looking forward to this new one. Very much. Despite all the stupidity of the... Um, controversy surrounding the game on the Epic Games launcher and everything. I'm not a part of that. I don't care about that, so I'm just looking forward to it. Um, Nathan Drake cheered. He says, the new Monster Hunter movie comes out next year. I hope it's good. <laughs> I expect the new Monster Hunter movie to be in the same vein as the Resident Evil movies. It'll have ties to the game franchise, but don't expect it to actually be accurate, and expect a ridiculous, stupid, over-the-top plot line. Um, that has nothing whatsoever to do with the actual games themselves that they decided to toss in there just to make their own story and try to make it their own that will probably piss off hardcore fans of the series. So, that's exactly what I'm expecting. That's exactly what happened with Resident Evil. Alice. The, who the fuck is Alice? It doesn't exist in the games. Make a, Fabricate a fucking character, you know, just for the sake of making a long-running series of movies. So... Baby Man Gaming Cheer Games can you read more in games? I could. The question is, should I? And the answer is no. So there you go. I got another dollar tip from Xbox One is garbage. He says, I don't know if you care, but the new Far Cry also comes out on the 15th. I'm aware. But of all the new stuff coming out this month, that's like the least interesting thing. Because we all know exactly what Far Cry New Dawn is. It's a reskin of Far Cry 5. There's like no effort put into it. It's basically Far Cry 5, the same exact gameplay elements and engine, with a new skin and slightly new characters, slightly changed plot. You know, it's supposed to be after the bombs went off at the end of Far Cry 5. It's going to be the same game. So just expect it to be the same game, okay? Will I ever play it? Maybe. Like, let's say later in this month, uh, I, I finish up with games like Metro Exodus and Crackdown and Jump Force and I want other stuff to do. Then maybe I'll consider playing it. But I am not in any rush to get to, to Far Cry New Dawn. Trust me. Okay. All right. Well, I guess that's it for the pre-stream, guys. We've covered all of your contributions. I gave all the shout-outs. Thanks to the current top contributors, including uh, Zacho Carries, a top, top cheer of the day, and Rob Warren with the top tip. Actually, let me check on... The sub count because we did not update that. We're at 482. So we went way down. All right. All right, everybody. So thank you very much. I appreciate that. Let's now start up with Apex Legends. Let's see how this goes. Um, you know, doing my best today to learn the systems. Go from there. All right. I see. Zacho carries uh did a hundred bit cheer. He says he'll become tips leader today if I can win a match. Well, we'll see what happens. I thought I'm gonna be able to. All right. 